we just received information in the last couple of weeks that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States is going to be requiring all immigrant visa applicants effective October 1st to be fully vaccinated for COVID-19 uh, before they can go to the United States. So we're working on getting the final guidance from Washington, D.C., and we'll be putting information up on our website and providing information to applicants as well. The disclosure about the new vaccine policy in the United States was made by Acting Deputy Chief of Mission at the U.S. Embassy in Kingston, Scott Feeking, while speaking on At Your Service on Nationwide 90 FM with Vernon Darby. We just received information in the last couple of weeks that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States is going to be requiring all immigrant visa applicants effective October 1st to be fully vaccinated for COVID-19 uh, before they can go to the United States. So we're working on getting the final guidance from Washington, D.C., and we'll be putting information up on our website and providing information to applicants as well. Mr. Feekin is urging applicants to double-check their vaccination schedule to ensure they get the job before their expected medical exam. You know, again, this requirement is in place to protect people, to protect people of the United States, uh, which is where uh, people will be immigrating to. And, uh, you know, again, that'll be going into effect on October 1st. So you know, if people have appointments that are coming up in October, I would encourage people to look and see where they're at in terms of their vaccination schedule. And if they haven't done so already, avail themselves of the opportunity to get vaccinated. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says if an applicant does not have proof of having received the required vaccines, the law states that it must be given at the time of the medical exam. The acting deputy chief of mission also says while they await the final measures, he has so far been advised that applicants would need to provide their vaccination cards provided by the Ministry of Health. Again, we're, we're waiting on the final policy guidance from Washington, D.C. in terms of how, you know, how some of these mechanisms work. Uh, quite frankly, it'll be incumbent upon the, our panel physician who does the medical exams for the immigrant visa process to you know, detail to the applicants the, the documentation that they would need. My understanding at this point is they would need to provide their vaccination card uh, that's been you know, appropriately signed by the, the medical officials indicating that the person has been vaccinated. And again, it's a person has to be fully vaccinated. So they have to go, have gone through both courses of the vaccine for vaccines like AstraZeneca and Pfizer or just you know, the one shot in the, the Johnson & Johnson uh, case. In the meantime, Mr. Feekin has advised that persons going on vacation or business in the United States will not be required at this time to show proof of full vaccination. It does not include people who are visiting. So it only applies to people who are immigrating to the United States. Um, okay. there, there's no requirement at this time. If a person is going for tourist travel or going on a business trip or you know visiting family in the United States, there is not currently a requirement for people to be fully vaccinated to travel to the United States. But regardless, it's a, it's a best practice for everyone to get vaccinated, as we've talked about before, and it would encourage people to do so. Wayne Walker, Nationwide News.